Alright, what's going on guys? Moxification here. So today I'm showing you Infinity Loader, which is a JTAG or RGH tool. Also has support for PC, but obviously I'm just showing you the JTAG and RGH side for now. And it allows you to run GSE after patch. So on like the latest title update for say Modern Warfare 2 and games up like higher than that. So let's jump into it. So it has two key features. So you've got the compiler right here and you've got the library right here. Uh, it's also a paid tool and so you would need to buy it to actually use it they do actually have a bundle to make it sort of a bit more like cost effective but if you were to buy say you know advanced warfare and ghosts like it can get quite pricey but the bundle is where it's at if you know you want to keep the price down but you know it's, it's still quite costly anyway but uh, yeah so let's 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 jump in so You've got the library, which has multiple different projects in here. You've got the project bundle, which is essentially like projects that work on multiple CODs. So if we were to go to say Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, you can see that Aurora is in here and it's also up here. And so that's why these are like highlighted differently. So let's say you wanted to play AI Zombies. You would literally just load up the game, go into the multiplayer section and click inject and it would inject. Uh, but I'll show some footage of me doing that at the end. So there's loads of stuff in here you can see. But let's say you wanted to use something that isn't in the Modern Warfare 2 section of the library. You may have found something online. There's a lot of stuff floating around. A lot of people have different, you know, menus or projects that have sort of been floating around, you know. Um, I've got one here, which is MBK, which is not in this section. So if you wanted to use this, all you'd want to do is go over to the compiler. You want to open your documents. And you go to the Infinity Loader folder and then go to Projects, then go to the game, which is Modern Warfare 2 for me. And then literally right here, you literally drag this in, make sure it's the folder and not like a zip or like a, a raw document. You want to make sure that it's, it's all in there. And then you can exit the documents. And then you want to click this little drop down box thing and then click Open Project. And then you select it here and then you click Load Project. And so now this is loaded into the, the actual Infinity Loader app. All you want to do is make sure that the actual, the, you know, the, the mode and the platform and the game is selected. So we've got Modern Warfare 2, Multiplayer and Xbox. And then all you want to do is click Compile Project. 